boy, oh boy, it's the weekend time. It's a Friday, although probably when you see this video, it could be Saturday. So guys, we are back. We are back at the weekend. I'm excited about this weekend. Why? A couple reasons, seeing that you're asking. Um, my son, who's four and a half, just learned how to ride his bicycle without the training wheels on this week and so it can't get him off the bike and so we're going to be doing some cycling around the house and uh, yeah pretty excited about that but today we're going to be talking about the smallest tripod winner and i say winner in the sense of over the years i've tested out a lot of tripods and this is the winner that i'm sticking with here i'm going to start off with this kind of look at it as a 11 month review of this Peak Design tripod by talking about my other tripods. And I know, I know, it, it doesn't make any sense, but it will, okay, I promise you that. I've used Pro Media Gear tripods for a long time. And a matter of fact, I have the three series right here. I have a four series that it's sitting on right now. These are some of the best built tripods I have ever owned. From a build quality standpoint, nothing nothing has even matched them. Everything about these tripods really scream, I am well built. And heck, I can even do a chin up on my four series tripod and that's saying something because I clock in at 225 pounds. So I have put these tripods up on a pedestal. They are rock solid, support a ton of gear and have proven to be the height, the functionality and durability and they are my everyday tripods. But when I travel, the Peak Design Travel Tripod is a better option because, guys, look at its tiny size here. It's one of the smallest travel tripods available. In my opinion, it is also the best. Now, full disclosure, guys, Peak Design sent me this tripod 11 months ago, and you may recall about 10 months ago, I did a review or published a review on this. So I didn't pay for this. They sent it to me to do a review on, and I've got to play with this continuously now for coming on to about a year. Matter of fact, this video, they have no idea this video is going on. So, but I wanted to do this because now I have nearly a year underneath my belt with this tripod. I've traveled all over the globe with this tripod, and I felt a refresh of the original review that I did was appropriate. With all that said, let's dive into why the Peak Design Travel Tripod is so, so good. And if you stick around to the end of the video, you're going to also get the details on our current giveaway, which has four really awesome prizes. So we're gonna try to aim for five minute review here. So let's get that timer going right now. All right, guys, before I get into the specs, let me address a question that does come up quite often. And that is, Alex, why don't you review more travel tripods? And the answer is quite straightforward. See, larger tripods, it's easier. I've, over the years, uh, boy, I've tested a lot of tripods. I've seen some good ones, some bad ones, more than I care to, to speak about, some excellent ones, and a few that are absolutely extraordinary. When you get into travel tripods, the challenge with travel tripods is, the manufacturers want to keep them kind of short and compact for obvious reasons. Um, but doing so, in order to get them up to proper height and so forth, you have to introduce five, six different you know, sections in, within the legs. And when you extend those legs out, it's for the most part, it, the legs get a little wobbly and so forth. And I just have a tough time making recommendations when you have wobbly legs and with regards to the travel tripod. So I have been really that blown away with any travel tripods up until Peak Design came out with this thing. So now that we have that out of the way, you can appreciate a little bit more of my enthusiasm when it comes to this particular tripod. Now, as I said earlier, I've had this bad boy for about 11 months now, and I'm still blown away by the specs that this thing has. And yeah, it's a super small travel tripod, but it packs an incredible punch worth of features. So we're talking about a five section tripod with a compact ball head more on that in a bit. Uh, you have the options of either aluminum alloy or carbon fiber construction. As you can see, I do have the carbon fiber version here. This has a 20 pound weight capacity, 15.4 by 3.125 inches collapsed, which is about the diameter of a water bottle. Uh, 60 inch maximum height with the center column deployed. Uh, 51.25 inches without the center column deployed. And you're talking about 5.5 inches of minimum height for those who want to get low angle shots. Guys, this thing only weighs 3.44 pounds 
for the aluminum and 2.81 pounds for the carbon fiber. You have aluminum cam leg locks. All the components are weather and impact resistant. This thing has seen sand, salt water, has been bumped, dropped, scraped, and it's taken it like a champ. It has a built-in load hanging hook for improved stability, non-slip shock absorbing feet, and that has come in very handy when shooting landscape. It has a lifetime guarantee. And you know, I didn't even know that part. The As I was prepping for this video and kind of figuring out which things I wanted to share with you, it dawned on me that I didn't know the, or could recall what the warranty was. I looked it up, lifetime warranty. And that, for me, says a lot about the creators of this. And you just don't see that a lot. All right, let's talk about the build and handling. I set up this video by saying that my Promedia Gear tripods are built like tanks. Well guys, the Peak Design tripod or this travel tripod is too. I have the carbon fiber version and it can take, it can certainly take some bumps. I don't abuse it by any means, but there have been some bumps and bruises along the way and it has stood up to the test for sure. That makes sense too because Peak Design uses high grade material to build these things. The ball head and the load hook are both powder coated A380 aluminum, which is both strong and lightweight. The quick release adjustment ring and the center column knob are 6061 T6 aluminum. The center column itself is also aluminum. The locking ring is made of polycarbonate ABS blend and the feet are made of short A60 TPU. You can also choose from either the anodized 6061 T6 aluminum legs or the carbon fiber legs. All those premium and durable lightweight materials make for a pleasant handling experience. This tripod is obviously lightweight and super compact, which is exactly what you want in a travel tripod. Deploying this tripod just takes seconds by swinging out the legs and quickly locking the leg locks. So from a building quality and handling standpoint, guys, this thing absolutely knocks it out of the park. Let's talk about some of the pros and cons. Of all the specs, the best one in my opinion is the collapsible size. Again, we're talking about 15.4 by 3.125 inches. I mean, just yeah, put it up against my white shirt. I mean, it is, it's tiny guys. The sheer convenience of having a tripod this small, which can extend up to 60 inches and hold 20 pounds of gear is absolutely incredible. I field tested the prototype of this tripod several times last year. It was the primary tripod when I went to Moscow, Istanbul, uh, Cabo San Lucas, and a number of other locations. The tripod fits so perfect, guys, into a sling bag and is so small and lightweight, it's even easy to forget that the tripod is there. Now, another definite positive with this tripod is how quickly it can be deployed. You just pull these things out right here, and I'm not gonna do it in my studio here, but just get a good bad, bad, bad swing! <laughs> No, seriously, you, you swing it out, as you can see that it just really pops out in place and you can just, yeah, I just love this thing. Anyways, as I said earlier, it just takes seconds to extend the legs. Thanks to a large part of the leg locking mechanics that require just three guys, three quick movements to release the legs. Yeah, another feature that I really like on this tripod is the adjustable ring on the ball head. Okay, now I have to be honest guys, I didn't like the ring at first because I was so used to the old school adjustment knobs. But you have two kind of rings up here. This one right here, the bottom one, is you move it left or right and it locks it into place. To loosen it up, just swing it around and ooh, there we go. And then of course the top bar right here loosens up the, the clip so you can put your camera into there. But in practice, the adjustment ring is so much better and it is so easy to you guys. I can honestly say it has been a struggle to come up with anything negative about this tripod. Really, it has been. I've been a diehard. Okay, I'm gonna bring this over here. See, I've been a diehard Acrotech GP ball head user. Actually, it's been 11 years since I've been using those, those ball heads right there. So when I first got this tripod, the initial drawback for me was the ability to put a ball head on top of this. But I get it now. The design of the ball head is essential for this tripod's ability to fold up so darn small. What's more is while I saw the ball head as a bit novelty at first, now that I've tested this tripod all over the world and have 
again, we're talking about almost a year underneath my belt. I really appreciate the ingenuity, the design of this thing. It's really, really well built. Besides, I've never once been concerned that the ball head would slip. Even last year when I had my big, heavy Nikon D850 with the 7200 lens attached to it, and of course, nowadays, I use it with my EOS R with the 7200 on it and no issues whatsoever. So the initial negative has definitely turned into a positive with it. The only other nitpicking thing that I can say about this tripod is that it is not cheap. The carbon fiber version, you're talking about 600 bucks and the aluminum version is $350. Now compare that to my Pro Media Gear tripods, which will exceed a thousand dollars in price. The Peak Design rigs, are pretty inexpensive, but not everybody has hundreds of dollars to drop on a tripod. I get that. I have to say though, and I'm probably going to catch some flack for this, so you know, be kind in the comment section here, but as you work with this tripod, see, it's really the selling point is getting out there and playing around with this. Uh, and the more you get around and play with this and work with the tripod and just really appreciate how solid it is and how small it is and I hate to overuse this word, but how convenient it is that price becomes much easier to swallow. And for the record, you do get a number of accessories with it, including a protective soft case, a Arca compatible standard plate, a mobile mount, a hex tool with a carrying clip, and a bushing removal tool for maintenance. Boom! End timer. <laughs> there you have it guys, a quick and dirty review of the best travel tripod I have ever owned. I just can't say enough about this thing. I could easily have done a much longer review and still not gotten all the features and benefits about this thing. This is a fantastic tripod that you should strongly consider adding to your camera bag. Now, let's discuss the details of the current giveaway. We have four great prizes to give away. A GoPro Hero 8 Black, a GoPro Hero 7 Black, a Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, and a $100 Adorama gift card. Each winner is also going to get a Octopad. This contest is running through April 15, 2020, so you have plenty of time to take the necessary steps to enter. And here's what you need to do. Step one, like this video. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances you have to win. So check out some of our other content and drop some comments. Step three, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And that's it guys. For complete details on this giveaway, check out the description below. Well, there you go guys. Hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, hit the like button down below. If you are currently not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, smash the hell out of that bell to be notified each time we have a new video that comes out. So I'm going to get out of here and you get out there and create your best shot.